revision of the uh, through hole connector um, inspired by Doug Jackson's SVC for work. Um, so I'm kind of increasing the pin density um, and I don't have um, a router to cut the um, the pattern to space the pin so I've just been spacing them with um, electrical tape wrapped around the ends and kind of bundling them together like this it's been pretty effective um, so this one I've just tried um, shrink wrap um, and I put a small piece in the middle as well and that will all get lost in the resin but I've just uh, got 19 pins now and they form this nice hexagonal shape is really quite neat. Quite like this, and hopefully the resin will <coughs> cure this time. Uh, it fits quite nicely into the uh, 19 pins. What was it 3.2 mil uh, brazing rods? Uh, keyed with the uh, just keyed. It's not even completely threaded with a 3 mil tap. It's not full depth, and it wouldn't take a 3 mil nut. Um, but it was obviously quite cheap. Uh, compared to threaded brass threaded rod. Um, so I right, we'll see how we get on with this one. This fits in quite nicely and obviously spaced again with the tape to hold it away from the the case. <coughs> on the outside I'll wrap more tape round and hopefully we won't get any pin shorting. And yeah, spin some more resin and see what happens. Right. So back to uh, mixing in the single to um, syringe and I'm going to try spinning it backwards so hopefully it will force it down and it won't go out of the side. It's looking pretty good. It's obviously uh, full of bubbles but we'll see what happens when we start spinning. The uh, uh, centrifuge I made, obviously inspired by uh, Doug's handler death mounted one. Um, so just a bit of threaded bar, lock nut welded on, um, bar connector welded on the stud, bar connectors for weights at the end, and obviously you can adjust it so you get it about balanced before you start. But I might discard the first little bit of this. Then we just uh, a plumbing uh, compression olive taped to the top to make a little a little uh, cup to hold the resin before it gets spun out. Still bubbling. Try adjusting the balance. Probably on top still. It's interesting. I think the bubbles compress a bit. Guess that's from the mixing. Vigorous mixing for the Okay, still 
might be a safer way of holding this. That'll do me. There's obviously still quite a lot of bubbles in it, but yeah. So I'm just going to leave it and hope that most of them are on the top. Yeah. Seem to be pulled off centre a bit. Could just leave it like that. Is it? bubbly but hopefully most of the bubbles are at the top section well, there's no continuous bubbles obviously they go all the way down and bubbles between pins that make it weaker so we'll see we'll find out tomorrow here we go set up not too bubbly uh, we'll see Here we are, start of a new day, um, this is the uh, the uh, connector I made last night, um, the resin does seem to be a lot harder, maybe a little more brittle than it was, um, but there's very little cracking around the pins when I've bent them out to access the soldering, um, but it looks pretty good, uh, obviously you saw the wires on, we shrink wrap them and squash them back together to keep them out of the road. Uh, we get 19 pins inside there, it's a bit tight as well, so... Uh -oh. Hopefully, we'll pump it up. It doesn't leak. It doesn't set up the, uh, the high, the high pressure pump here. Brilliant. I think we got a winner. Obviously it might feel better with a uh, tapered thread, but it seems to be alright. I don't know if we can test it before the rod goes in the water anyway, just by uh, pressurizing it. Brilliant, huh? Pleased with that. Mixing the resin better. So maybe I've worked with the, the old technique of just spinning it around my head on a bit of string. I had a few fails and I thought it was the centrifuge that wasn't working right. But if it's just the uh, mixing the resin, <laughs> it could uh, be possible to make it even lower tech without any more setup. Thank you.